Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. How's going your first and second song? It's coming along? The window single marching in has been two weeks, so it's okay, right? What about the second song? It just has been a week, so you may need a little more time to practice, so that's fine. Now, if you can play it first song well, then send it to me and I will check and I will give you some comment. Today's song is very short compared to the first and second one. Now, the first one, when the sing, go marching in. This one was rag and march. And the second song was classical. And the third one that we're going to learn today is from him. So we're going to play all the genres. Have you ever heard? God, it's so good. This hymn is very short, but very peaceful. lesson, I added more chords. So last week we learned C chord and this week we're going to learn G and F, which is one of the most important chords. So we're going to play this beautiful short song with using these three chords. Now let's start. First, look at the score. Do you see letters above the score? C, G, G and C. Yes, that's the chord. Of course, we know the C we learned from last week. And G is the one that we have to learn. Actually, we learned it too. But do you remember from the previous lesson? Now, let's find the C first. Normally, C, when you play the chord, it will be below from the middle C because melody line stays from middle C to above. So it's better to put your hands on the bass C, one step below the middle C. Now C from skip above is a C chord. What about G? G is literally on the G, so there is two G. You have here G or lower G. But if you see it, lower G is closer, so let's choose this one. It really doesn't matter which G you play. But for now, we'll just go down and skip, skip. That's the G chord. So we just have C chord and G chord. And C chord and G chord. That's what you need to know. If we move it to second line, there's a C. And you will find one more chord. F. Where's F? C, D, E, F. Just four step up. So F, and you built it up. That's the F chord. And then coming back to C again. So what is the C? To play the first one. And G. Yeah, here is a G, but let's go down. And come back to C again. So just remember C from 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the G. And C from 1, 2, 3, 4. Four up is F chord. Now in music, key of C has no sharps and no flats. So if you start from the C and play it, key, there's nothing from C to next to C until if you play it until next to C is coming out, there's no sharps and no flats. And this is we call C scale. C scale means Literally, C from, you play it until you meet the next C, so which is this one. There is nothing. In music, there is three most important chords. First one is tonic, which is first chord of the keys. So if it's a C key, That's the family name. 
And second important chord is you go fifth note off from the tonic. So if it's a C, one, two, three, four, five, you go off five. C, D, E, F, G. So it's going to be G, G chord. G chord is second important chord. So actually, if we have a C chord and G chord, maybe we can play lots of songs with knowing only C and G is in key of C. Now, the third important chord is you go fourth off from the tonic. So one, two, three, four, which is C, D, E, F chord. So in key of C, C chord is most important chord, which is home key, and G, which is actually one, two, three, four, five. You can just think of a C chord, the very last note is a G. So from that chord, if you built it up, that's the G chord. That's a second important chord. And just one step down, slide it down, which is F, right? Four note up from the tonic. So if you know these three chords, then you can play it half of the songs actually. We call that chords primary chords. Why? Because it's important. So the name is primary chord. So today we're going to use this primary chord, C chord, G chord, and F chord, and we're going to play a song. This time, let's play both hands together. Now, left hand is a C, so it's in here. And right hand starts on middle C, which is here. And basically this song has just quarter, half, whole. And then the rhythm is the same. One, two, one, 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 two, three, four. It repeats back for four times. Okay, let's go slow. Find hand position. One, two, three, go. C, two. Three, four, and left hand goes down to G and right hand step down. One, two, three, four, and one more time the same. One, two, three, four, right hand step down and left hand come to C. One, two, three, four, same note. One, two, repeat and skip. And right hand step down, but left hand come up to F. One, two, and skip down, skip up, and right hand step down, left hand C. One, two, right hand step down, left hand G. One, two, right hand step down again, and left hand come back to C. One, two, three, four. Very simple, right? Right hand is easy. But just left hand, finding hand position is a little bit complicated at the beginning. But if you practice for a day or two, then it will be okay. Now let's play a little fast. Let's find hand position. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. One, Why you don't just play a G and coming down? Good question. Normally melody lines are staying near here. So if you play it too closer to the middle C, then your hand will be crossing. So it's better to play it low for the bass. We call it this chord position is root. Why? Because the C name is coming at the very bottom and built it up. The original chord shape is root position. So if you can play well on this root position, and then after that, maybe two days later, break it up the left hand, make it sound better. Now let's see how it goes. Left hand, 
first, if you're looking at the score, just the same C chord, but break it up. One, two, three, four. But in here, when you play it, you can just keep holding it, whatever you're playing, and then make it chord. That's easier to remember. And then move it to G. Two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. And move it to C. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Move it to F. One, two, three, four. And move it to F. And this time, since it has only two beats, we cannot play a three notes. If we play three notes, we need a three beats. So what we do is one, five, we leave it out the middle one. And one, five, we leave it out the middle one here again. So just play it first note and then the fifth note. But why do I count five? Yes, we're counting the notes, how far it is, one, two, three, four, five, the keys, do you see? We are five keys away from it. So we count it as a key note, not by how many notes we have, okay? So one, five, and then go back to C again. One, two, three, four. That's how you're gonna play left hand. When you can play it well on the block the chord, then you will just break it up the chord. That's what we call broken chord. Instead of blah, play at the same time, you just play it one note at a time. This can be one of good left hand chord technique. When you play a chord, if you don't know what to do, first you block the chord and then just break it up. That sounds different from the blocking it. Now let's see how it goes. Fine hand position. Right hand on letter C and left hand on C chord. We'll go slow this time. One, two, three, go. One, two, and drops at the same time. Three, four, and step down and go to G. One, two, three. than the blocking it, right? It's feel a little different. But you have to practice block the chords too to know the hand position faster. So you practice blocking the chord and later on when you can play it well, then break it up. Now I would play it in regular tempo so that you can hear how it's supposed to be. Let's go. One, two, three, go. piece to relax but even though the song is short we learn so many things today right C scales S scales and primary chords C chord G chord and F chord which is very important chord to play it music so practice the chord everything as a blocked and if you can play it well, break it up. Which we learned in the lesson. So memorize the place. 
position of C chord, G chord, F chord. And if you can find the chord fast, then you have a lot of freedom to play other songs too. So today, I want you to remember this chord. And next time when you come, I'm going to teach you next up lesson, which is I'm going to teach you a different way of playing. This beautiful harmony progression. So until next week, keep practice. And if you're done with your first and second lesson, send it to me. And I will give you a comment. Good luck on your practice. And I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.